Now, let's have an example. Ayan. Pwede bang break na? Gustong-gusto na dating mag-reading break. And apparently, well, during your reading break, next week, oh, next week na reading break, you enter a sled pulling race. Wearing cleats for traction, you begin the race by pulling uh, on a rope to the sled with a force of 115 newtons at 25 degrees with the horizontal. The mass of the sled is 80 kilograms, and there is negligible friction between the sled and the ice. Letter A, find the acceleration of the sled. Letter B, find the normal force exerted by the surface of the sled. And letter C, how long will it take for the sled to reach 25 meters if it starts from rest? So I'll be giving you maybe um, um, two minutes to think of how to solve this problem. And uh, later, I will be discussing the, the solution to the problem, okay? So uh, maybe two minutes have elapsed. Let's uh, solve this problem. Uh, okay, so again, you have um, a sled that is um, that is pulled by some tension T here. And that tension, which is 150 newtons, uh, is uh, acting at 25 degrees with respect to the horizontal. The question now is, what is the acceleration of the sled? And what is the normal force in the sled? And how far will the sled, uh, uh, how long will it take pala to reach the 25 meters for this sled? So, ang una natin gagawin, since we want, to, we want first the acceleration, we first draw a free body diagram. Okay? Draw first a free body diagram. So again, the drawing ako dito, kaya hindi ko to hinaid. Uh, I will use red, as usual, I will use red pen for the vector. So what are the forces acting on this sled? We are interested in the in the motion of the sled. Therefore, yun yung hahanapan natin ng forces. What are the forces acting on the sled? Guys, so, ano yung forces na yun? Tension, of course. It's pointing at some... Ay, sorry. Uh, kailangan ko na kaarol. So yan. Yan some tension that looks like that. And then uh, what are the other forces? So, weight. Weight, of course, which is always, ano yung direction lagi ng weight? Ano yung direction lagi ng weight? It should be? Bababa. Yes, downward. Tama. O, meron pa bang ibang forces na nag-act? Normal force. Yes. What is the direction of the normal force? So, Parallel sa sled. <laughs> Parallel sa Perpendicular po pala. Upward. Perpendicular to the sled. Therefore, it should be upward. It should be, therefore, it's anti-parallel to the weight that looks like this. It's something that looks like this. So, wait lang. Sorry for that. Medyo OC ako. Gusto ko pantay yan. Yan. Okay. Kita. Kita na. Then, I will draw a small dot here. Hinuhuli ko yung dot eh. Kasi, yeah. Um, and then, uh, so let's label them as so this is some tension T. Uh, di pa lakita masyado. Sorry for that. Uh, this one. This is darker. Yan. This is some tension T and this is some normal force N and this is some weight MG. Now, what I will do is uh, what is the coordinate system that's suitable for this? So, since I have uh, two vectors here that are parallel to each other, I will assign one of the vector, one of the co coordinates to be uh, to be parallel to it. Therefore, what I will do is one that's parallel and the other that's perpend. Ah, not this one. Sorry for that. I will use a black ink here for my coordinate system and it looks like something like this. So, so ganito yung magiging itsura niya. So, yan. So, this is my x. Um, this is my x and this is my y. Okay. And this is some angle. This is some angle theta here. Okay. Now, nakuha yung free body diagram where theta here is 25 degrees. So the mass of the part of the sled is 80 kilograms. Um, mass plus the person, the I guess, the tension, the magnitude of the tension is, I think, 150 newtons. Tama, di ba? 150 newtons. And then theta is again 25 degrees. Now, um, what we want is the acceleration. So the question now is, what is the acceleration of this sled by 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 experience? Saan papunta yung sled dapat dyan? Or saan mag accelerate yung sled? I will use dark green as my notation here. So, dapat yung direction na acceleration. Dapat sa? Saan siya? Dapat pag ganito, di ba? Tama? Gusto mong, humo, gusto mong hatakan yung, ano, yung sled, therefore, dapat mag-accelerate yan from rest. <laughs> Hence, the acceler direction of the acceleration vector is in this direction. Now, uh, what will happen is, so, um, I will decompose this into the core components that I have. So summation of forces acting on X is what? Uh, this T here, what I want is the perpendicular, or I should say the parallel component, uh, the parallel component. Hence, if this is theta here, I have T cosine theta, which is equal to what? Uh, which is equal to what? Uh, ano yan? Uh? 
saan siya equator? Saan siya na-equator? Dapat sa fast times acceleration, right? Tama? And hence, since I only need the tension here, hindi ko naman kailangan yung ibang forces for now. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I know, the, I know the tension. I just want to determine the acceleration. Hence, this acceleration here can be simply determined as A. It's simply T cosine theta all over M, which is equal to, uh, this means that A is simply um, T cosine theta over M, which is just equal to 150 newtons um, cosine of 25 degrees all over um, 80 kilograms. And hence, we get something like a 1.69 meters per second squared. That is the acceleration of the sled. So acceleration yeah, is going um, towards uh, right. So pag ganun yung direction ng acceleration. Nakuha to. Did you get this one? Nakuha? Get? Questions? May tanong? Wala? I hope wala. Ah. Sige. Now, what about the summation of forces acting on Y? Remember, the tension here can be decomposed as well. So, pwede mong i-decompose yan, di ba? So, this is the X component. This is the Y component. Now, ganito. Ang gusto mo ba sa sled, umangat yung sled? Do you want the sled to go up the 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 um the surface? Gusto mo ba umangat yan, yung sled? No. No. Therefore, what can you say about the acceleration in the vertical direction? Anong gusto mong mangyari sa kanya? Di ba gusto mo mag-stay yung, yung, um, yung sled sa, sa surface? Therefore, kailangan hindi aangat yung sled. Hence, what can you say about the acceleration there? Since we don't want, we want the sled to maintain its vertical position. What can we say about the acceleration in the in the y direction and therefore what can you say about the summation of forces acting on y ano mangyayari diyan ano lang mangyayari diyan di ba dapat mamamatay lang yan it yes. should be zero yes kasi yes. um you don't want it to be uh to be to be accelerating in the y direction therefore this should be zero and hence you just add um the components vectorially so this is t sin theta plus n minus mg is equal to as I said is equal to zero. Now I don't I know the I know uh, I know the tension I know the weight. Uh, I own I of course know the the angle. Hence what we say here is that the normal force is just equal to mg minus t sine theta, which is equal to eighty um point zero um by nine point eighty one. Sorry, this should be times nine point eighty one. Ah, uh, di ko muna ilagay units sa minus uh, one hundred fifty sine. 25 degrees and therefore we get a normal force that is equal to 721 newtons that is the magnitude of the normal force and it's pointing upward kuha gets nakuha therefore the normal force exerted by the by the the the, the surface must uh must be adjusted such that hindi mag accelerate yung body siya Kasi kung mas mababa dito yung normal force, what will happen is uh, pababa yung body, dudurog siya papunta sa baba. Otherwise, paakit yung body. Okay. Aangat yung body. Now, letter C. The question in letter C is, gaano kala katagal pa para ma-reach ni sled yung 25 meters? We know, so paano natin nahanapin yun? If it starts from rest, anong gagamitin natin dito? Anong gagamitin natin? We know that the acceleration is constant, right? The acceleration is constant. Hence, what equation can be used for this? So we can use our kinematic equations, diba? We can use our kinematic equations. Kinematic yes. equations ang gagamitin natin dyan. Therefore, we use our kinematic equations. Ang tanong... Uh, oh, okay. Ano mga given sa atin? Given sa atin yung displacement x minus x naught... Um, which is equal to 25.0 meters. Given din sa atin yung acceleration, which is from letter A, which is about 1.69 um, meters per second squared. Given din sa atin yung initial velocity, which is what? Ano yan? Zero. Zero, di ba? Because it started at rest. Therefore, um, okay, what can we use? Ang hinahanap natin ay time. Therefore, we use our Position, position, time, velocity, time, velocity, position. We use our 
position time, therefore x equals x naught plus v naught t plus one half a t squared. So uh, I can set x naught equal zero here. So this is just zero. The initial velocity is also zero. And hence, I can solve for t, which is square root ng 2x over, uh, over a. Tama? Tama? And hence, um, t is just equal to twice, 25 meters all over the acceleration, which is 1.69 meters per second squared raised to one half. And therefore, the time it took for it to reach the um, 25 meters is about 5.42 seconds. Nakuha? Nakuha to? Yes. Okay, I hope you get it. Nakuha tong first item ng problem na to? Do you get this first item? Yes. I hope you get it. Okay. Okay. 